So guys, Microsoft launched Windows 11 new version 24 S2 and the build is 26052. Currently, it is available in Canary and Dave channel. Okay, so let's see what new features are coming in this update. First feature they are introducing in this update, energy saver. Go into system, go into power. In power setting, you will see energy saver. So currently it is off. So whenever you're turning it on, so you will save some battery if you are using laptop. Another little change related to power, like whenever you're connecting with your charger and there's a not a fast charging, it will give you some notification like please use the high watt charging cable or adapter right so this is also a great thing another new feature is scrollable settings you will see here is scroll bars right like this okay so you can scroll and navigate to these kind of quick settings so from here you can turn it on or off and the new update related to your like you can scan QR to connect with your Wi-Fi or share your Wi-Fi password and all that. Go into mobile hotspot. You can scan this QR to connect directly with your phone. And you can also use camera app to connect your PC with another Wi-Fi, right? So just use camera app to scan any QR and you will be connected to that Wi-Fi. Another big feature they introduced and now it is available for everyone. So just go into any folder and right click on it. You will see option like uh, compress to zip file 7 zip or tar files so you can use these kind of uh, compression method and uh, compression format so this is really really cool another new improvement related to file explorer like if you have open multiple tabs in your file explorer so now you can see the naming of that another tab like sample file so you can also press alt plus tab so you can see all the tabs which are open and we also find some smooth animation so whenever you are hovering over it okay you can see and we also find some shortcut key for opening your sound settings like just press window control and v key so it will directly open your sound output settings another new feature they're introducing like voice clarity if you are connecting your phone with your pc and you are using whatsapp anywhere you are calling you are on a call so using voice clarity feature your background noise is going to remove so your communication is going to be smooth and clear another new feature they are introducing pseudo command pseudo command is now supporting in windows so basically you need to turn it on from from your developer settings currently in my case it is not enabling maybe have some issues and uh, if you are familiar with these kind of command and you are tech you can use this sudo command another new update related to your uh, sound system they are enhancing the sound quality if you are connecting with your headphone so you will get option like uh, adjust ambient sound left right so this is a new feature introducing in this update another thing they have removed windows mix reality so this is deprecated same for microsoft defender application guard these two applications are removed if you are installing this version so you will not see here wordpad also another new improvement related to windows copilot so whenever you're hovering on this copilot icon so you will see here pencil icon and here you will see some other actions like send to chat explain or summarize so these features are available in this build currently it is not working for everyone so that's why maybe i did not get this so that's why it is not showing in my case another new setting they are introducing for copilot in windows like open copilot Pilot when windows start so if you are a fan of copilot you can turn it on so your copilot will activate whenever you are opening your system and you can also resize the copilot here you can just drag to left side set according to you and we have some update for a snipping tool and notepad app so in the new snipping tool you have option to add some shapes like a square rectangle and circle and all these things whenever you are taking any screenshot at the same time you can edit them another big update related to notepad app like uh, if you have some text in your notepad you can select that text and you can explain with copilot so that is really really cool and we also have some changes in your windows setup so before it was look like this but now you can see selection setup options like you want to repair and all that so some ui changes here so in paint tab you can change the size using this slider in the left side you can see slider pixels so you can just use them so these are little little changes coming in this build so some changes to your system tray icons like uh, energy saver icon before energy saver icon like this and now it is look like this another new feature is pointer indicators so this is new accessibility feature go into settings click on accessibility click on mouse pointer and touch and uh, here you will see pointer indicator just turn it on you can change the color as well so wherever you move your pointer this is going to be more clear like uh, where you are moving your mouse so this is especially for low vision users 
Another new improvement related to context menu whenever you right click on any folder then you can see the new labels here like cut, copy, rename, delete. Another improvement related to widgets like whenever you are hovering on widgets then you will see here two dedicated sections like widgets and uh, widgets start and widget start. In the left side you can see your widget and here you will see your feeds. Another thing is like only widget section so you can add your widget only widgets will be available here. Another improvement related to lock screen so here you will see richer weather experience on your lock screen so whenever you're hovering on it you will see all the details related to weather so okay guys that's it for this update i hope you like this update so let me know your thoughts about this update in the comment section